Master Skywalker. There are too many of them. What are we going to do? This is where the fun begins. I don't like Sam. What's up, you sluts? It's your boy Tyler. Karlov Manor just released to a reception that can only be defined as lukewarm. But I like this set. We saw the return of Assassin's Trophy and the reintroduction to that famous Azorius control with Mana Leak. But my favorite card in this set is the one enchantment hydroponic grow op Insidious Roots. Look at this thing. Look at the mana cost. Short, sweet, to the point. But much like a companion you might find on West Hollywood Boulevard, there's a lot to unpack underneath. For just two mana, you get this wall of text that makes tokens appear and grow stronger every time a card leaves your graveyard. This means every time a creature leaves the graveyard for your hand to exile or to get a gallon of milk, you are growing plants on an industrial level that will put you on a DEA watch list. Whoever made this card saw Cauldron Familiar and said no, not strong enough. Whoever made this card saw Bridge from Below and was like, yeah, that, but upside down. Whoever made this card gave absolutely no instruction to the art department regarding the card effect or title, because what is going on with the art? Insidious Roots looks like a blacklight poster that was left too long on the press, and much like the Disco Biscuit addled life of the aging raver who owns that poster, Insidious Roots will leave a trail of destruction in its wake. Your opponents will wonder how they got to this point and question every life choice they've ever made as you exile another maverick from your graveyard, spamming out more tokens and counters onto a growing sea of plants. Today we are pushing Insidious Root to its absolute limit, and we're going to see if Wizards has just unleashed another staple into Standard. Oh hey, it's me, from the future. After playing a few games with this card, I've realized that this is not a standard card. And it shouldn't be, I mean honestly, it's made for modern. But, we can use it in Explorer. The first thing that we're gonna do is we need to fill our graveyard on turn one. So we'll use the brand new card, Rubble Belt Maverick, which will let us surveil two on turn one. We can also use the Explorer card, Stitcher Supplier, to fill our graveyard on turn one. Then on turn two, well, you know what's up. We're gonna play Insidious Roots. Turn three, we have a couple of options. Hopefully, we've already put some cards in our graveyard. If not, we can still play the Rubble Belt Maverick, or we can play a Stitcher Supplier. Or we can play Cauldron Familiar, and hopefully we have a Witch's Oven. Or, 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 we have Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. Now, Tyvar is ya boy. He does everything that we need to do. He puts cards in the graveyard, and then he takes cards out of the graveyard, and he puts those cards onto the battlefield, so we have even more blockers. And let's just say that the card he takes out of the graveyard happens to be a Stitcher Supplier. The Stitcher Supplier mills us three more cards. One of those cards could be a Maverick that we can then exile out of the graveyard because of Tyvar's passive ability lets our plants tap on the turn that they come out. So now we've exiled another card out of the graveyard, and we get another plant, and we get more plus one plus one tokens. Hopefully this is making sense. Basically, we're gonna start a chain reaction with Tyvar. Any non-land permanents that our opponents play to try to mess us up, we can take care of with Skyfisher Spider, which also takes cards off of our battlefield and puts it into our graveyard, where we can then take them out of our graveyard. And when we take things out of our graveyard, we get even more plants and more counters. And finally, when the plants aren't cutting it anymore and we need to draw cards, we have Chalk Outline, the final piece of the puzzle. It's basically another Insidious Roots, but it costs four, so it's not quite as good. And at the end of the day, we always have our one mana Planeswalker, the Deathrite Shaman.
Another one. It's me, your boy. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. 